Drew is a Welsh television personality, architect, antique dealer, and author, probably most popular for hosting Quest TV's Salvage Hunters for more than a decade, and for his renowned antique stores. Most recently, he's appeared in other TV shows, such as Salvage Hunters Classic Cars, Salvage Hunters Best Buys, and Three Men Four Wheels. The antique dealer has been a household name for years, attracting millions of viewers of his TV shows. Most recently, he's faced some challenges, which we'll be diving into today. So stay tuned to find out more about what happened to Salvage Hunter star Drew Pritchard, his backstory, career, and what he's up to now. Andrew Thomas Pritchard was born sometime in 1970 in Conwy Clwyd, Wales, into a working-class Welsh family. Not much is known about the identity of his parents or siblings, if there are any, or his educational background. As a young child, he spent a lot of time around his father, who was a car and motorcycle enthusiast and would repair and restore them as a hobby. From when he was just eight years old, Drew would scour the neighborhood for things people threw away, salvaging almost anything he found, especially car badges, push bikes, and any scraps he thought potentially useful. He filled boxes with his finds and hid them in his bedroom. One of his salvaging highlights from his early years was finding pieces for his dad's vintage cars and scrapyards. Apparently, his parents are still uncovering those boxes from his childhood. He and his father would tour the farmyard in North Wales, searching for motorbike parts, as well as spending entire summers on the beach, salvaging boat parts and other paraphernalia. He would then sell his finds on the side of the road, in awe of his new treasure hunting hobby. Eventually, his passion for treasure hunting led him to starting his own vintage car collection at the age of 15. Then, at 16, he started an apprenticeship under Yisgul Driffin Conwy and became a trained stained glass restorer. He worked and traveled across the country for some years, visiting castles, cathedrals, and historic buildings in Wales, and eventually began his architectural antique dealership when he was 23 years old, naming it Drew Pritchard Antiques. Unbeknownst to him, his childhood interest would eventually turn into a lifelong career. Drew became a household name when he was approached by producers from Quest TV, who wanted to film him in his successful business. The show, Salvage Hunters, premiered in 2011 on Quest TV in the UK, and follows Drew and his crew as they scour for valuable items in various locations, including other antique shops, scrapyards, the beach, and unusual places. His team includes gilders, woodcarvers, renovators, and upholsterers, who search for unique items such as architectural remains, antique furniture, car parts, and more. They then restore the pieces and attempt to sell them for a profit. The series initially became popular among antique lovers and salvaging enthusiasts. Viewers get to see the team in action, traveling across the UK finding treasures and their restoration processes. The show has since become the channel's most popular, reaching an impressive viewership of over 11 million in the UK alone. It's currently broadcast in more than 30 countries and has aired 17 seasons and more than 215 episodes. Each episode features a specific theme, some of the most popular including The French Adventure, The Salvage Safari, and The Italian Job. In 2018, he began hosting the spin-offs Salvage Hunters The Restorers, as well as Salvage Hunters Classic Cars. He then hosted Salvage Hunters Best Buys, in which he went over previous buys and the profit he made from them. His most recent credit is from 2021, when he began hosting Three Men, Four Wheels. Even before his success on television, Drew was the owner of buildings in Glan Conwy for more than 25 years. His store, which was close to the Snowdonia National Park, had a diverse clientele, from celebrities such as Ringo Starr's son Zach Starkey and Hollywood actor Jim Carrey to luxury stores Monaco and Ralph Lauren, and restaurants such as Jamie Oliver, Soho House, and Marco Pierre White, as well as Royals. His products have been named original, masculine, and beautifully made by customers around the world. Besides being the set for his TV show, his store became one of the must-see sites in Conwy, 
attracting tourists and treasure hunting enthusiasts. Following are some interesting and previously unknown facts. When asked his favorite pieces to sell, he said, I absolutely love 19th century industrial design furniture, early Georgian painted furniture, and most things from the aesthetic movement. He sells the pieces he loves that reflect his taste. In an interview, Drew revealed that the team he has now is pretty much the same since day one. His newest member has been there for a year and his oldest for 13 years. It seems that he's a great boss. In the newest series, he recalls his highlights to be filming in Northern Ireland and Germany. We bought fantastic amounts of great pieces with some mega finds amongst them. A highlight for me was standing in the roof of a fairy tale, Bavarian castle in Germany, buying bronze swan lights from a count and a baron. One thing that Drew has never found but wishes to is any piece of antique furniture by designer Charles Rennie McIntosh. He once salvaged a life-size Elvis figure, which he then donated to a hospice to raise essential funds for them. Drew's current home is a Regency chapel before he began converting it almost 20 years ago. Located in North Wales, his home is a showcase for all his biggest and best finds over the years. Drew closed his antique store in Conway a couple years ago after he opened it in 2017. The store was located on High Street and was one of the main attractions in town. It experienced mass success over the years as tourists from all over the world came to his famous emporium. It even cemented Conway's place as a favorite destination for tourists and antique lovers alike. Owing to the huge success, Drew acquired permission to expand his store to accommodate more people and inventory in 2019. For unknown reasons, he announced that he would be closing down the store in search of new pastures. A restaurant group took over shortly afterward. He said, Our Conway showroom has now closed whilst we move to new pastures so please don't travel to visit us. We continue to trade online as we always have done with new stock listed every week. Fortunately, it seems business is still booming for the TV personality. In his personal life, Drew met Rebecca Jane when she came to his store as a customer. At the time, she was a fashion and retail consultant who worked for clients in the UK and abroad. She had two decades of experience in the field and a good eye for aesthetic pieces. Their shared love for antiques brought the pair closer, and so they began dating and tied the knot soon afterwards. Although the exact date of their marriage is unknown, apparently sometime in the early 2000s. The pair began working together at the store and then on television. Drew would find the antiques while Rebecca would analyze and price the items. The pair worked wonders together. However, the pair began to drift apart, resulting in Rebecca's exit from the show in 2016 and a year later, they finalized their divorce and parted ways. The pair have managed to remain amicable despite their split and share custody of their son and the business. The famous antiques dealer is apparently no stranger to controversy. In October 2017, Janice Thomas, an owner of a crane firm, was fined 1,440 pounds in an assault case against Drew which took place at the Liverpool Arms Conway pub on the evening of 24th November. During the court proceedings, Landudno's Magistrates Court heard arguments from both sides in an attempt to get the facts. Michael Gray, the defense solicitor, explained how Thomas had been provoked by Drew, who had been having an affair with Mrs. Amanda Thomas. Two years after she broke off the relationship, Drew continued to contact her with threats to publicize their affair and soon after, she was threatened by Drew's partner as well, blaming her for ruining their relationship. Overwhelmed, Amanda confessed to her husband, but the pair decided to remain together. On the other hand, Drew continued threatening Amanda. Evidence for his text was presented to the magistrates, leading to his assault by her husband. Both men were given a temporary ban from the pub, as well as a fine for Mr. Thomas. A year later, Drew got into another brawl, this time earning him a permanent ban from the same pub. Although this latest brawl didn't involve Mr. Thomas, it did earn Drew a spot on the pub watch banned list of every pub in his hometown of Conway. According to the Mirror, 
A landlord confirmed Drew's presence on the ban list, but didn't wish to comment further, nor be identified. The fight took place on the 14th of February, the day Wales win against Ireland in the Rugby Six Nations. It could be a cause. North Wales police revealed that investigations into the attack were underway, but neither Drew nor his assailant had been seriously injured. Journalists at the Daily Post contacted the 52-year-old antiques dealer with some questions about the fight, but were met with silence. Drew can still be found in the show Salvage Hunters on Quest TV in the UK. It's also been aired in other countries, including the US, Australia, and New Zealand. Additionally, he can be seen in several spin-offs, including Salvage Hunters The Restorers and Salvage Hunters Classic Cars. He has his own website, on which he shares his expertise and conducts his online business. He has a strong social media presence, with a huge following on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. As for Drew Pritchard's net worth and salary, the information available online isn't reliable, and it's difficult to confirm the exact figures. Drew has kept most of his personal life private, and there are no official reports of his income or net worth. Regarding his income sources, Drew earns money from his business, Drew Pritchard Antiques, through which he sells architectural antiques and decorative items. Additionally, he earns from his TV appearances and various events, including antique fairs, talks, and auctions. As of 2023, authoritative sources estimate Drew's net worth to be an impressive $9 million. Drew Pritchard is well known as one of the UK's top antique dealers, having built his career out of his childhood passion for salvaging items from scrapyards and beaches and turned it into a successful international empire. For over a decade, Drew and his team have restored countless items, including doors, furniture, garden ornaments, lighting, car parts, and paintings, to name a few. One of his best discoveries is a set of 19th century stained glass windows, an extremely rare set by William Morris, which he found in the cellar of a deceased demolition contractor. After painstakingly restoring the 14-piece set, he sold it for over 100,000 pounds. Despite recent issues, Drew is still making waves in the antique restoration field and apparently has no plans to stop anytime soon. Drew Pritchard is one man who took the saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure, literally. Cited as a modern day treasure hunter, Drew continues to maintain his role as one of Britain's leading architectural salvage dealers. His story is one of passion, dedication, and determination to succeed, inspiring many. It's impressive how he turned his childhood passion into a full-time, hugely successful career, a feat few people managed to accomplish. We wish him all the best in his future endeavors as he gears up to film new seasons of his TV shows. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.